Scenario Builder allows you to build scenarios in advance of your sessions, saving you time and allowing you to create complicated simulations. Within the Cloud Scenario Library you can find some preset scenarios to get you started. Click Import, and the scenario is imported to your personal library. Clicking into the scenario shows an overview of the scenario and what steps it contains. Each step represents a change in vitals, over a set time. This step lasts for 5 minutes. The chart shows the change in each of the vital signs across the duration of this scenario step. On the left side, the active waveforms can be selected. These take effect from the beginning of the step. A trigger defines when the next step starts. You can choose from instant, where the next step starts immediately. Manual mode, where the instructor manually activates the next step. Time delay, where the flow continues after a set time. Defibrillation, where the next step is triggered after a specified energy and number of shocks are delivered. And pacing, the step continues after pacing is achieved above a specified threshold. To play a scenario, during a session, select the Scenario tab on the Instructor panel. Select your scenario, and press Play Scenario. The first step begins, and the values start to automatically update on the student monitor. The instructor can manually skip ahead by double-tapping any step. Here, our scenario trigger specifies that pacing above 60 milliamps should be achieved, before that step begins playing. Our student initiates pacing, and when 60 milliamps is achieved, the scenario automatically continues. Switching to the Monitor tab, the flashing indicators show which values are being automatically updated by our scenario. Tapping the flashing indicator disables the automation, so you can adjust this parameter independently should you wish to do so. Any automated values are ignored while the indicator remains red. Tap again to resume automation. You can skip back and forward, pause and resume your scenario to assist your simulation. To learn more about creating scenarios, view the separate video on this topic.